So, in the name of God, most gracious, most merciful, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, I want to talk about the other meaning that I've been talking about of Ya'juj and Ma'juj. Now, the meaning I have given you previously to Ya'juj and Ma'juj is dependent upon the story of Zulqarnayn with the wall and the areas surrounding the wall and the genes of uh, the people of Khazara, right? So we have talked about this and you can find my videos about this, inshallah, it's very interesting. What I want to talk about today is the other more general meaning, the general understanding of the word Ya'juj and Ma'juj, Ya'juj and Ma'juj. Inshallah, you will find this fascinating also. So, in the Bible, Ya'juj and Ma'juj is understood in the Bible by Bible commentators in two different ways. And also by the Jewish rabbis, it's understood in two different ways. Ya'juj is a people, Ma'juj is the land. So Gog, the land of Magog. This is what the Bible, the wordings of the Bible. However, our Prophet tells us, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Ya'juj and Ma'juj are from Bani Adam, so it seems like it's actually referring to two different tribes within the same area. So they may be brothers. Now, what does the Bible tell us? The Bible tells us or in, and how Islamic historians have understood our history, which it, by and large all the majority of the scholars who have ever written history, this is how they've taken it and it's considered correct. Over here I want to mention something very important you'll find very interesting. Even in the beginning of Surah Al-Baqarah it says, الَّذِينَ يُؤْمِنُونَ بِمَا أُنزِلَ إِلَيْكَ Those who believe in whatever is sent to you, O Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, مَا أُنزِلَ إِلَيْكَ وَمَا أُنزِلَ مِنْ قَبْلِكَ And whatever was sent before you. So we believe in the things sent before us, except what we have today is not in its correct, 100% correct form. But, whatever is not in the correct form is corrected. The big points are corrected in Qur'an. And the things that Qur'an is silent about, for example, I'll give you an example. The chronology of the Prophets, first was Adam, then Nu, then Sheet. This chronology of the Prophets is not given in the Islamic literature. Because the Islamic, the Quran is assuming you already are, you already aware of certain things from the previous uh, revelation. So the Quran will say, "Hal ataka hadith Musa?" Did the story of Musa come to you? You know, from before, before Allah is talking about this, "Hal ataka hadith Musa?" Did the information about Musa come to you, not or not? So now there is another thing that's very important. So we have information from the Bible, and we have information from human literature. Right? So the word Gog, yeah, Gog Magog, or its different uh, derivatives are used in human literature as history is being written. And some of these I will mention in the, in the, in the introduction, uh, you know, where the comments area is, we have the description of the YouTube video. I'll mention, you know, the description of Ya'juj and Ma'juj in Finland, in, in, in German, in Gothic, and in and, and the areas over the, uh, the nor northern areas, north of the Black Sea areas, this whole area in literature at different times has been called Gog Magog. You'll find that interesting. Because Gog Magog, what we know in, from the Bible, is, a ch is from the children of Nuh Prophet Nuh had three sons that, whose progenies are all over the world. Okay? And there may be other progenies too, but these are the three big ones, okay? And so it is Ham, Sam, and Yafith. Ham is the one who went to Africa, okay? And by the way, the first people to conquer the world and the first people to go all over the world uh, was the children of Ham. This is why in every society, you go to Africa, you go to South America, you go to different areas of the world, the aboriginal uh, people, the, ab the original people are all black because the first people to, to make great civilizations and to conquer the world were the black people. After that was the children of Sam. These were the Semites. You know, these were the people in the Middle East and Asia, Asian, you know, Asian uh, and what even today is Middle East. This was the second group of people that then conquered the world. And then the third is the children of Yafis. So Ham, Sam, and Yafis. Yafis went to Europe. And the children of Yafis had not yet conquered the world. Right? They were yet to conquer the world at a later time, at a later date, before, after the coming of Islam. Okay? And so when you, so Ya'juj and Ma'juj is referring to the entire European population 
who then they have then from the British, they went out from the small island and then they conquered the world. The Portuguese, the Spanish, you know, the Dutch and the French and they all went out to the whole world. All of a sudden, in a matter of a few, you know, a few, like within a, a century, right? They just exploded in the world. And then they retreated back to where they were and then they're exploding again, okay? And this is going to be something interesting. And meaning, and, and so what we understand from this is Ya'juj and Ma'juj is not specifically the Khazari people only, but it is the entire European people and it is their victories and it is their re-establishing the uh, land of Israel and Jerusalem that is the miraculous part. So both the specific meaning that I have discussed in details in previously, <coughs> and today I'm giving you the general meaning. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Haramun ala qariyatin ahlaknaha. It is haram for a nation or a city that we destroy. Annahum la yarji'un. The Jewish people will not return back to their city on that city that we destroyed after 70 AD, which one day, inshallah, I'll explain that to you. حَرَامٌ عَلَىٰ قَرْيَةٍ أَحْلَكْنَاهَا أَنَّهُمْ لَا يَرْجِعُونَ حَتَّىٰ until Because that time had not yet come. Until the children of Yafis, they begin to take over the world because everyone would have their turn. Ham had his turn. The children of the Africans, they had their turn to take over the world. Then Sam had his turn. Now Yafis will in the future at one time have his turn and have victories and conquer the world. And their specialty will be that they will even not conquer only the land, they will also conquer the air. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Hatta idha futihat, Hatta idha futihat, Ya juj ma juj, Wa hum min kulli hadabin yansilun. And from every elevation, they will come down. They have the GPS's up there, they have the satellites up there, everything is, so many things are just coming down. Then this is the time where the, where the children of Yafis came into power and they brought the planes and they brought everything that comes down from the elevation is built by these people and as Sutur Rum because they, if you want to understand Ya'juj and Ma'juj you have to understand Sutur Rum. Sutur Rum is about the Romans which is about the Europeans and their connection. So Ya'juj and Ma'juj is the children of Yafis, okay? And the Romans have a quality that Allah mentions in Sutur Rum, which is very, very interesting. يَعْلَمُونَ ظَاهِرًا مِنَ الْحَيَاةِ الدُّنْيَا يَعْلَمُونَ They know ظاهر, the ظاهر, the apparent things. They know how big the sun is, how hot the sun is, but they don't see Allah in the sun. Right? Nothing. يَعْلَمُونَ ظَاهِرًا مِنَ الْحَيَاةِ الدُّنْيَا Things of this world, the things of the ظاهر, the apparent things, they are so good with understanding the apparent appearances of things, the apparentness of what's apparent. They understand it so well. And as for the hereafter, they are in ghafla about that. So they're very good with dunya, but the, when it comes to the hereafter, they have this ghafla, they are, they are distracted from it, or they have some sort, ghafla has many meanings, right? So anyway, this is the other meaning and the connection of Ya'juj and Ma'juj to the Western civilization. That they will be a great civilization and they will not conquer only land, but they will conquer the air. But in that, coming back to my previous explanations, in that, specifically, specifically the center of that is going to be the most intelligent of these people. And the people who have had the most success amongst these people who are the noble prize movers and shakers amongst these people, and that is the Khazaris of the Europeans who are the Khazari Jews, the Askanani, the Askanani Jews, right? So I want to end here, inshallah, about this. Jazakumullah khairan. Assalamu alaikum. I hope you liked this. If you liked it, please share this. And, you know, really, you should go to Sutli Anbiya, and I think it's ayah number 184. Uh, no, 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 sorry. Sutli Anbiya, and the ayah that talks about this right now, it, I'm losing it in my, it's not coming to my mind, but uh, in the ayah, وأحلك, uh, It is haram for the city that we have destroyed. They, the Jewish people, will not return to their city. 
حتى until that time حتى إذا فتحت Ya'juj wa Ma'juj until the openings happen for Ya'juj and Ma'juj the victories are given to Ya'juj and Ma'juj for you know first as the Spaniards then Dutch and the and then the, the British and, and, and the French and so on and so forth and then America and Australia and then they now were all over the world and they will also conquer the land this is in the Quran I hope you find this interesting share this in your WhatsApp app, in your in your in your whatever uh, social medias you have, like the video, subscribe to the video because inshallah I will be teaching you a lot, a lot, lot more uh, interesting things. Jazakumullah khairan. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakat. Thank you very much.